Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm going to be explaining MD5, what it is, the uses of it, checking it with a piece of software and making your own with a piece of software. Basically, what is an MD5 hash? Well, an MD5 hash is the same as an MD5 checksum and I will show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's an 128-bit, uh, 32-character hexadecimal number. So basically, you may not understand that, that just means it's a code that sums up a file on your computer. Each file can have its own unique code. And that's what basically one MD5 is, is a fingerprint of a file. So if that file then gets changed at all, for example, you change character in it or you can inject a number or a couple of numbers or a virus or something into a file, it will change the MD5, the fingerprint of that file. So why would this be useful? Uh, basically, I have right here a download of Ubuntu, which is a version of Linux, which I'll probably be showing in a future video, along with some other distributions. Uh, I've downloaded this from the Ubuntu website, and as you can see, it says choose a location near you. And you can see there's millions of websites here, which show you different places where you can download this one file you have no way of knowing that any of these mirrors here have ha, you don't know if they haven't injected it with a virus injected this one file with a virus and then you'll go to open it and then you'll find you have a virus without knowing so is there a way we can check to make sure that the one you download from the, any of these mirrors are the same as the one that they've made yes you can you can do it with an MD5 so what we'll do is we're going to find out the MD5 of this file right here. So all we need to do is go into Google. Control T, no. There we go. Go into Google. And type into Google. I've been to 7.10 MD5. They have they usually have their own websites or web pages dedicated to these, see? So, uh, the the official Ubuntu website has got MD5s, which are the hexadecimal codes. So the one I've got here is Ubuntu 7.10 Desktop i386. So that's this one right here, and this is the MD5 for this file. So how are we going to check it against the file? Well, there's a piece of software and it's from mid -wavy. you can maybe find your own but I'm, I'm going to use this one it's from this link here uh, it's a very small program about 25 kilobytes and it will check the MD5 of this uh, sorry this against your file so we double click this and you notice it says MD5 double click this again ND5 check utility. I'll put the link to the ND5 program in the description. And here we see an MD5 check utility version 2.3.1 freeware. And you see at the top it says blue, it's blue, and it says paste. Well, what it's done is the code you just saw me copy from Firefox, it's already pasted it into this box for me. But if you want to do it manually, you type paste. So now you select a file, so we want to select this Ubuntu 7.10 document, uh, CD image, sorry. And now, as you can see, it's now generating the checksum for this file, and you might find it freezes up, but that, that means it is working, it's just not showing it graphically. And eventually you'll find that it will show you that the code against this file, which is just generated, matches against the one that we've just had on the website. So we now know that this file is clean. As you'll notice that here it says the selection down here, you, you can verify an MD5 checksum and create an MD5 checksum. So you can say create an MD5 checksum. Down here I have a program called Notepad. If I want to send this file to someone, 
and they want to check themselves if the file I've sent hasn't been tampered with along the way getting there you can make your own MD5s so you can say would you like to run notepad and paste save the MD5 hash we'll say OK so then in notepad it's opened a new version of notepad you can then paste it and you'll notice this is the new MD5 if you want to save it put it on a web page or anything and it also displays it here so this, MD, this is an MD5 hash fingerprint code for Notepad. Now one thing to be careful of is when you go to download a file from the internet and you go to check it using this software, um, you may download a file in zip format. So for example, this is a zip file. You'll go to extract it or you'll go to check this against the website and they've done an MD5 for the main program and then you'll think, oh no, it's different. So then you'll think, oh, it must be injected with spyware. So you can, all you do is extract it. Uh, obviously I've already done this, uh, cancel. And then just check the MD5 against the executable inside the zip file because the zip file is going to have a different MD5 than the actual application inside it because it's a different file. So this is mainly for security, but it's a great procedure to check that the downloads you make or the downloads you you have are legitimate and from proper sites and they match the originally published file that someone has made and done themselves and that's about it really. Uh, thanks for watching my video, a bit of education for you. Uh, please subscribe, rate, comment, is there a better piece of software than this one? This one I found to be the smallest. Um, and please subscribe.